welcome back to Hootington's Crafts. Um, let me just get situated. <laughs> if you already see me in this shirt, it's because this is my big, loose, baggy shirt that I wear around the house. Probably seen better days. It is beyond clean, but it's just comfortable like when I'm crocheting and working with. It's like really lightweight, so it doesn't like cling to me, so that's why. And then... I have my owl pajamas. <laughs> so, today is Made It Monday. I wanted to be on here earlier. Um, please don't shake. <laughs> Even shaking his little butt. Um, I wanted to be on here earlier, but I was finishing up Georgie for my daughter, and the eyes were trying to not dry. <laughs> um, when I do like amigurumi dolls and stuff like that, that buzz all over me. I try to um, stick as close to the actual character as I can. So like I get very like finicky with that. Like even though this was a pattern um, that Mariah Elizabeth's mother made, I wanted it to look like the character sh uh, the daughter actually drew. So I was doing that. But first, you want to see something cool? Okay, let me talk a little bit about this before. Well, I'll show it and then I'll talk about it. Yeah. Ah! He is, or she is, um, cookies and cream. Ow! She's got waffle cone. Um, wings. A little Oreo cookie feet. Oreo cookie eyes. Um, a cone for an ear and a cherry for the other ear. So, this is a paper pattern. However, I completely went off the grid. <laughs> so, it's I did it with the fur yarn because I had cream and black mixed and it looked like cookies and cream to me. So, that's what I wanted to do. Then, she had two cone ears and um like this ice cream drip come down so i just did one and i thought the other one needs to be a cherry on top because whenever i do a sunday i always have a cherry on top then her eyes she had both of the cream white for like the cookie center but if you open up an oreo cookie you never have cream on both sides unless unless you have like a double stuffed what's wrong Oh, <laughs> you just excited, huh? <laughs> yeah. So unless you have like um, a double double stuff, but if you have like a regular Oreo cookie and you open it up, you have one side that's cookie and one side that has the cream on it. <laughs> so that's what I try to mimic with the eyes. I have one cream, one not cream. Uh, I did do the ice cream, big old plop right there, and you can see like little drips coming down. Here's the cherry, then the waffle cone wings. And then this is just little cookies for little feet. Oh, I love it so, so, so much. Of course, an owl. What owl have I ever turned down? Huh. I feel like the Jeopardy music do, 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 needs to come on while I think. I, think I don't think I've ever turned down any owl, seriously. Nope, that's true. Yeah, I don't think so. So this is what I've done. I will have her pattern in the description down below. Again, it's all done with um, acrylic yarn. I just had to go different because that's me. <laughs> but I do want to do one sticking true to the pattern. Another thing I didn't like about the only thing I, yeah, I didn't like about the pattern is she doesn't give you detail on how to fold, fold, fold <laughs> how to fold the wings or the little cone head. Um, she doesn't tell you like how to do it so you're like she goes fold the wings to a waffle cone i never folded a waffle cone before so i'm like how do you do that <laughs> and then she doesn't show you like pictures of where like placement where to sew it on so it was like you just had to do what you could do but oh i love it so 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 much Alrighty, next up I made this is for an order um, I want to show you what I made but I don't know if they watch this and then I don't want to like give it away so I'm gonna do like a video of it 
and then um, once I send it then I'll show the gift part that I made for this person but she has she's been um, a Facebook friend of mine I've never met I actually just talked to her beginning on MySpace and then it went from MySpace to Facebook <laughs> never met just but always just talk to each other online and she ordered because her son had a little scrump when he was little he's now 18 and I remember seeing him on Facebook little little and I'm like oh my goodness that's gonna be my girl soon you know she's gonna be 13 still um but this is scrump I did not have a pattern I just free handed it um I think there are patterns out there but I just did what I wanted to do try to make her her as close to the real thing in the movie as possible because yeah. I know she was like wonky you know I think Lilo made her and she wasn't perfect but uh I love how cute this came out this I used um big twist so this is all done with the big twist sorry this is big twist no actually this is red heart <laughs> And I don't use Red Heart Super Saver. The only time I ever use Red Heart Super Saver is for an Amigurumi. So, um, and she and her pattern calls for the Red Heart. So I actually found it and I was like, let me stay true to the pattern. We all know how that worked out because <laughs> I didn't stay true. But I just love, I, I don't know what it is. I seriously lately been just love working with the fur and making the animals and they just come out so like real looking I just love it so um, I am working on Stitch's little girlfriend Angel uh, when I have her done I'll show because those take a little bit more time because I felt their eyes and the nose and the paw sorry I was looking over there at my stitch the uh, say all I felt so I do the ears the inside of the ears, the nose, mouth, you know, all the little thingies. I um, take a needle, 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 <laughs> needle and go jab, 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 and that's how I felt the eyes. But, yeah, so this was all, this is the brunette, a little tiny bit of the red, um, uh, the black, and then this was just red heart. Oh, my goodness, my brain. Is and then this was all not brunette big twist, big twist. this was all big twist. she's so soft and then I just did buttons I had regular brown buttons and I just painted them and then I just created a little bow did the hair she has like this little wonky little stitched on smile little button belly button and that's scrump and in case you don't know again she is from Lilo and Stitch the movie now Want to hand me? Thank you, baby. This is Georgie. <laughs> Ta-da! So this is Georgie. He is a pineapple duck. Um, I tried to do him as close as I could to the cartoon, the drawing. So he has his little blue eyes. Um, I did the mouth this way. Her mouth is completely different. It's like one big old piece. It makes it kind of like a rectangle. See, paint on my hand is because I was painting and I was like dabbing it off my hand. So anyway, um, what? Okay, so I did, yeah, no, I don't want the seeds. So, um, I, uh, thank you, baby. I lost my train of thought. Men, they have to bother you. Hmm. The eyes. <laughs> okay, so I did the eyes with the paint. Oh, this is felt. And then I just painted the eyes how she had it in her little drawing. And then the mouth itself, I did. What was that? <laughs> my mouth, my throat just got dry. <laughs> like, I did. So I did the oh, beak. Ow. Two little separate pieces. And then I. Uh, something like that. Gave him his little smile, painted on his little belly button. I have um these little, what do they call it? Paco, Peco, paint pens. Um, and then his little wings. He is big. 
he wanted him to be extra big so that's what I did I made him extra big for her and she is one happy little girl I love how um, this is a brunette blanket yarn but I love how it actually looks like little pineapple bumps <laughs> so I was thinking of doing like the pineapple crosses you know the little slashes they have in them but I thought no it looks cute oh yeah his little toe <laughs> I tell you what though working with blanket yarn that's like a workout and a half it truly 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 is please don't shake the bed Oh, shake mommy's camera. It. <laughs> I love you. It. You want to give this to Lissy? Careful the eyes, okay? Tell her careful. Thank you. It truly, truly is a workout. Like, <sighs> my wrists were hurting. I was like, what? Like, I don't like blanket yarn. Be I don't know why. But it hurts. <laughs> when you're working with that, boy, does it hurt. So, that's all of my finished off. Well, not all of them. The other one I was going to show. But, I have to wait till the collection is complete. Then, you'll be able to see it. Because, that's just, I'm weird like that. I have to be able to show the complete collection. <laughs> so, once it's done, you'll be able to see. So, this is how far I've gotten... Oh, it looks really good. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a lot more tonight. I was just so upset that, because I seriously had like, I'm telling you, it was like halfway on my body. I was like, yes. Well, not halfway on my body, halfway done. I was like, yes. And then I had to rip that. So, I did this. I have this much done. And I was like, you know what? Let me take a break. And so I'm going to start doing this tonight. So, oh, I do have one more thing. But you got a machine Okay. So I'm also working on these. I'll show you two. But I have to make 30 of them. Please don't shake the bed. Thank you, buddy. So I will show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is out of... Loops and Threads Cream Cotton. Oh, it is so soft. So when I went on the Echo Splurge, um, I was actually picking it up for somebody. <laughs> but then when I saw how cheap they were, I was like, I'm going to get these all. And they had it like all in the bins. And I was like, well, it doesn't. It really truly didn't look like anybody was touching them. So I was like, well, I'm going to get them. And I did. <laughs> And so anyway, uh, some of them are Loops and Threads Cream Cotton. I have to always remember that name. For some reason, I can't say. I, I want to say Cream Corn. <laughs> cream Cotton. And so, uh, it is luscious. Like, it is so soft. It definitely, when you work it with it, it does not feel, to me, it doesn't feel like cotton. But look how beautiful this is. So, um, this is going to be a cardigan, but it's going to be done you do the top layer first, which is this fancy little design. And then the back layer is going to be um, a granny square, a regular granny square. And then you connect the two pieces together. And you have to do, I want to say 30. Um, yeah, 30 pieces for socks. 1X from small all the way up to, I think, 2X you do 30 yeah 30 and then the other ones like 3x and up i forget <laughs> but um yeah i totally forget if i remember i'll link that pattern down below if not remind me in the comments if you truly want to know what the pattern is and i'll link it so yeah <sighs> my stomach has been torn up <laughs> i had I want to say Catherine. I think it was Catherine Bird. She's so sweet. She messaged me one time. I think it was her. She messaged me one time about um, how do I do my fur animals. And then she she was talking to me about like um, health problems. Like um, I have PCOS, endo something. It's a long weird bird. 
Um, I also have fibromyalgia. I have, which is like chronic pain syndromes. And, and then I have, oh my goodness. I, thyroid, hypothyroidism. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It just like my brain lately just fried um i have hypothyroidism so it causes you to gain gain a lot of weight and so does fibromyalgia so does pcos and so does endo something <laughs> cause you to uh not only have chronic pain but it causes you to gain weight be fatigued um memory loss um just like a bunch of things. Please don't shake the bed. Please don't shake the bed. Okay. Oh, you want to show one? Uh, show fat boy. You want to show fat boy? I want to show fat boy. A bear dragon. So anyway, yeah, it causes you like all this stuff. So anyway, she was talking to me about it. And then she told me about a book that she's reading. I forget the name. But anyway, I bought the book. Well, I bought it on. Eat the little fatty, chunky. Mama. This is our bearded dragon. Ooh, you're nice and warmy. His name is Mumra. Look at him. <laughs> he's so chunky. He's a chunky boy. Right. Aw, he's seepy. I'm sorry I disturbed you. He's so cute. Now, you go. Trixie, go. She loves them. And they're so cute. They'll ride on her back. Here, you want to hold him? Have Daddy put him back because he's seepy. Uh oh, careful, careful. Yeah, good job. Um, so yeah, I was reading the book and I already knew like there's certain things I can't have. Like I can't have gluten, I can't have flour. Um, there's so much that like I have to like cut out of my body. But this talks about like cutting sugar out, which I already knew that it had to cut sugar out, but she's talking about like zero sugar. <laughs> so I'm not going that far, but I have cutting out cutting. I have cut out um, flour, um, gluten, like things like that. I, what else have I cut out? Oh, I already stayed like pretty low on my sugars. Um, even though like I love my caramel macchiatos, I got down to having one every two weeks instead of like a bunch. Yeah, a bunch because <laughs> I love them. But um. Anyway, so I've been doing that. I've been doing a lot of uh, clean eating. And how long have you? Would you say I've been doing this for? Two weeks. More around there. So for the past like two weeks, I've been doing it, and I lost 13 pounds. I'm so excited. Check today, and I'm like jumping. Like I'm so happy. So clean eating is just like you don't have like oils and stuff like that. You can use um, coconut oil, or I use grapeseed and um avocado oil but i use like a tiny 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 bit i have an air fryer so i use that i also have a pressure cooker it's a ninja so it's like an eight in one it has air fryer steam like all those things and then i have the grill the um ninja grill and they are lifesavers if you can get those i am telling you they are lifesavers um i pressure cook today spaghetti squash and it it was like in no time and on top of it like i didn't even peel it you just throw the whole thing in put a cup of water and pressure cook it hmm what was the rule not to shake the what bed Ooh, snap me somebody <laughs> son good job thank you oh yeah so then when i opened it up right it had the shell is that called a shell yeah, the skin no i'm gonna call skin. it a shell it was like peeled off the thing like when um my husband helped me get it out because like heavy and hot and so when i put it on the table i was gonna like cut it in half it was just peeled off i was like whoa and it came out all perfect so then that made it like really easy to be able to peel apart i did um fettuccine alfredo but with spaghetti squash and i added chicken and bacon bits yeah yeah, but so you just watch like certain things. Like, um, for me, my nutritionist, nutritionist, right? <laughs> I'm always tongue tied. Uh, she had said um, to keep my sugars like 
to watch everything and have it be like below 10. So that's what I do. Like, I will actually do, I do zero to like maybe five grams of sugar if it's in there. That's what I'll do. But I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. I mean, I lost a lot of weight. Um, heck of a lot of weight. One day, one day when I get to like my first goal, um, I just want to lose like 40 more pounds and then I'll like have to show my before pictures and my after pictures and you'll see the biggest difference ever. Depression has a, does it help, you know, losing my dad and my mom and things like that. That didn't help and like stressful situations don't help so but we are in a much, much, much better place right now and I am definitely in a much better place. Um, knowing what is going on with your body helps. It truly, truly does help. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it just helps you. And when you have a good doctor that listens to you and doesn't say, oh, well, it could be this. No, they actually, like, help. Because for years I went to a doctor and I was told, oh, it's in your head or it's just this or it's just that. And no one ever listened. So I gave up. And then finally I met a doctor that I was like, look, if you're just going to give me excuses, I'm just going to walk out of here right now. I'm not trying to be rude at all, but I'm tired of the ring around. Like, th I can't live like this no more. I have two kids. I'm like, at that time I was 394 pounds. And I said, I just can't. I can't do this, you know. I'm going to die. And she even said if I didn't lose, I was going to, well, it wasn't even the weight. It was more the other health issues that attacked the heart. And I was going to die. And here I am. So I really, like, I'm thankful that I just fought, like, and I had a good doctor on my side, an amazing husband, and my two kids that pushed me through. So, um, if you don't feel like you have anybody in your life, you have me. I'll be your biggest support system. I will help you push through it, even if we're miles apart. That is my promise to you. Because everybody needs that person or, you know, even if it's just one person. You need somebody to be able to talk to somebody to lean on and I will always be there and that's my promise I truly 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 mean that alrighty so I didn't mean to get all sappy <laughs> um hope you like what I have so far I can't wait to show everything else I can't wait for the cardigan to get done because ooh, that's gonna be gorgeous when I first saw the picture on Instagram I was like oh my goodness I need to make that and then when I got all this yarn I was like Okay, I definitely need to make that, so I'm excited. Alrighty, I am going to most likely get to bed. I'm tired of posting my videos late. <laughs> I gotta start posting them early like I used to. But that's what happens sometimes. Get busy or like me, I just sit there stare at like, what should I do? <laughs> you know what it is? You go on Pinterest. Don't go on Pinterest and Instagram. I will go on Pinterest and Instagram, right? And all of a sudden, I'll see all these things I want to do. So I'm like, I got to get this pattern. I got to get that pattern. And then I got so many to do. I'm like, where should I start? And for like an hour or two, you're just sitting there like, okay, should I do this one or should I do this one? And then I'll ask my husband and he doesn't help. Then I ask the kids and one of them will say, oh, you should do this one. The other one will say, oh, you should do this one. I want everybody to tell me which one I should do so then I do the opposite <laughs> that's how it works right all right so I hope you all had a hooterific day a hooterific night as always hootin' to now bye